Hey guys, what's up? This is Mikhail Abdullah with Aces Jiu Jitsu Club here with my brother and student Brandon. And today we're going to show you an awesome technique called Muscle Splicer. Right? It's a great leg lock. They were going to show it to you in no gi situation so that more people are able to use it. When you're in the gi, it's really only able to be uh, finished when you're at a higher belt level. But in no gi competition, you're going to be able to use it pretty much at almost at any level. Right? And in the street, you're still going to be able to use it at any level as well. Alright? Alright guys, let's get started on this technique. Alright? First things first, here is, I'm posed with a huge problem. When Brandon's here in his turtle position, however he ended up here, his job is to make sure that I don't get in two hooks. Super important to understand his position. Right? Excellent. So, first things first, the first hook is going to be super easy to get in. For me personally, when I want to get in that first hook, I'm going to create pressure right here on his hip and some more pressure right here on his, uh, his shoulder. Now, notice, even with a tight turtle setup, as I push him, boom, it opens up. Right? Opens up, now all I need to do is insert my one hook. It doesn't have to move very much. The first hook is always the easiest hook. The second hook can pose a bit of a problem. Boom. Now that I've put in my first hook, right, I do what's kind of a, called like a leg wrap, right? Now as you can notice, with my hook, my, the, foot, the hook of my foot comes on the other side of his shin. You see that? So it's actually controlling him, right? Now it's going to be very important right here that we're going to talk about how to finish out this technique. All right? Notice that I have driving pressure to keep him stabilized. Right? If I lean back, it's going to give him too much room to move around, right? to maneuver and try to escape. This is one of the most common mistakes with this technique, is providing him too much space to maneuver around. He starts to move his hips, it can be really bad for me, and, he'll, and he can actually do the defense that we'll talk about in a later video. Alright, so in order to create that good pressure, my chest is low, I'm squeezing tight, and my chest is kind of at a 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle, down, boom, into his hips. Super important to stop him from moving around. Now that we're here, a lot of people want to go directly for the leg that they think that we're attacking. I, in my experience, that is not a great decision, right? In that scenario, there's a whole lot of setups for him to defend himself. We don't want to go straight forward. We're going to take the scenic route to get to that attack leg, right? So in this situation, what I have learned is awesome to do is going to separate. I'm going to reach on that same side arm right here and I'm going to separate his leg from his body by monkey gripping with my palm facing up underneath his ankle. Now that I'm underneath his ankle and I'm going to get my grip, boom, on the other ankle as well, now I'm going to bring this leg that was to my rear forward and I'm going to sit back. Now that I've sat back, Boom! I let go of that ankle and now I grab onto this one ankle of the leg that we are attacking. Now that I'm here, I'm, I can, I'm gonna pull his heel into his bottom and there's a tap. Notice there was not a lot of pressure being applied in order to finish that tap. You gotta be really careful right here. Now sometimes you're gonna have a guy who's gonna be really fighting out of there. So sometimes you might even want to, boom, triangle. Now that you've triangled, it's going to be even harder for him to get out. For my advanced guys and guys who want to be extra safe, then you're going to reapply. There you go. Again, notice, it does not take a lot, guys. You really do some damage. Let's show this technique again. All right, guys, we're going to recap it again. I'm going to create pressure right here on the hip and on the shoulder. I'm going to insert my first hook. Boom. Now you can notice as I insert my first hook, I've got a lot of pressure. Pushing that pressure forward so he doesn't escape. Monkey grip goes right underneath that ankle. So I'm going to control that ankle. Other hand, monkey grip 
the attacking leg, right? Boom, now that I have both of those, I'm gonna separate the leg that's not being attacked and step over and sit back. Boom, now that I'm here, I'm gonna grab, triangle, tap. All right, step one, insert the hook. Step two, make sure you have good pressure against his hip. Step three, palm facing up, monkey gripped underneath both of those ankles. Step, the next step, step forward, lean back, change your grip, triangle, bring his heel towards his butt. And that is a calf splice. And that, guys, is how you close out a calf splicer from the turtle position. Now this awesome technique can be used from a lot of other different positions, but the turtle is my favorite, and now at least you get the gist of how exactly this technique uh, is applied and the mechanics of how to finish it. Please take this uh, advice into consideration next time you apply it. If you've got any issues with it, send me an uh, email or a text. Uh, again, make sure you subscribe with the button below. We appreciate your time and your support and good vibrations. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Us.